Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome back for some more fun with Subnautica. Uh, now, I've actually uh, I've decided to, to get the, the full version of the game. Uh, it's still in progress, of course, but it's uh, I was playing just the demo the other day, and uh, I neglected to save my game, uh, so I had to start all over again, unfortunately, uh, once the, the hour... Uh, uh, the hour trial ran out, um, so I have the uh, I have the full version of the game here, and we've gone super high tech, as you can see. I have both a flashlight and a knife. Fish beware! So we're out here to conquer the water. Um, now I've I would like to do some more repairs inside my little escape pod here, and, I'm, and to do that, I'm going to need a welder. Um, I didn't capture it on video, but a little while ago, uh, the big fancy ship out here had to. Uh, had some other additional troubles, and it blew up. And as you can see, there's a whole lot more damage on the ship, and there's a whole bunch more of, like, fragments flow. But um, I also had this really weird bug where there's all these weird doors just sort of hanging out above the water here. Uh, so I don't know what the deal is with that, but it, it, in order to, it says in order to get through them, you have to cut through them, but they're all just doors that go nowhere. They're sort of hanging in space. I don't know if they were actually supposed to be, like, on the ship, and you could cut your way into the ship once you have some sort of um, radiation suit or something that will keep you from dying when you get too close. Um, but, uh, in the meantime, I just have these weird random doors sort of hanging out of there. Let's see if we got something I can eat here, since it looks like I'm due for some food and water. Made some disinfected water. Uh, alright, so let's see what we need for the, uh, for the welder that we want to build, so that I can fix my communication setup over here. So, in the fabricator, if I go down to personal and go to tools... Uh, scanner welder. So I've got the magnesium. I actually got made that by uh, combining some salts that I found. I have tons of titanium, so I don't have to worry too much about that. It's this crash powder that I have to get, and I was really confused about what crash powder was, so I did a little bit of poking around to find out. And apparently, there are these uh, these fish that kind of hang out inside these little you know, plant type things that grow down in the caves under here. So we're gonna swim down and see if we can find a cave. Oh, that thing's like attached to my ship. Grab that. We can make dinner later. Okay, so uh, we need to find a cave, and inside the cave there's going to be this little plant kind of thing that these crash crabs or whatever they are kind of hang around inside. That cave's all plugged up. That's no good. I should grab one of these floaty guys here because I'm going to need to make some water again. And I don't think I have enough salt to make, or I don't have the stuff to make more bleach uh, that I can use to get disinfected water. Hold still. Ah, these things are so hard to grab. you got to get really close to them to get them. And then you gotta kind of switch from trying to use the two control sticks to hit the button to grab the thing. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him! Ah, oh, my gosh. I am brutal. Hey, we got him finally. God. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can find a cave. And, of course, now it's getting to be nighttime. But, fortunately, we have our handy-dandy flashlight. Now, uh, I did build an oxygen tank in the last video. Uh, and I had to, of course, when I restarted, I had to go back and build it again. But uh, I do have an oxygen tank. That gives me 75 air, which is a little better than what I had before. When I started out, you only have like 35 air or something like that. Uh, but if I can find... If I can find a cave... I'd grab this to get more titanium, but I actually have too much now. My storage compartment inside the ship is all full. And I'm running out of places to put things. I can only carry so many on my person, and then the storage container in the ship only lets you hold so much. And different types of things take up different amounts of space in there, too. I need a cave. It's a little creepy down here at night. Whoa, look at that. This piece is just, like, spinning out. Oh, okay, there's one of the plants that I have to get. And inside, there's apparently, like, this fish thing that's going to come zooming out. Of ah! Ah! Run! Ah. Oh, my gosh! What happened? I took a little damage. There's, like, some kind of crazy exploding fish things. Apparently, if they hit the wall, they'll blow up on their own, but... Oh, Warning. and inside... 30 just, seconds of oxygen I gotta go swim back up. Uh, okay, so I found a cave. The first crash I found, unfortunately, did not leave any of the crash powder behind that I need. I think I only need one of them to make that welder, too. It's not even like I need a lot of it. I love the scenery in here at night. Like, look at that. It's amazing. Okay. Back down to the cave. Hopefully there's uh, something a little bit farther in here, because that one that was right at the opening, that would have been perfect, because I, I don't have to swim in too far. My, my big worry is that I'm going to swim into this cave, and I'm going to run out of air and not be able to get back out in time, because I'm stuck inside this opening. I'm trying to listen for that 
thing because it makes a funny noise when it comes out. Do you see any? I don't see one. Oh, this is so hard with the flashlight. Alright, I'm getting low on air already. Ah, which way did I come in? Oh, see, now I have a new challenge. I got all turned around, zipping around with the flashlight, and I'm definitely going the wrong way. I need to get back out. I'm gonna drown. I have yet to die, so I'm actually not sure what happens when I die. Swim, swim, swim. Uh, 12 seconds left. Emergency. 10 seconds of oxygen remaining. Go, 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 go. Six. Five. Now you can hold, like, after you run out, you, you do last a little bit longer and things start to fade to black. I've had some pretty close calls. <laughs> Choking on the water. Uh, I've had some pretty close calls, but I haven't, I haven't drowned entirely yet. Alright. Let's try this again. I got fairly deep in there. I don't know how far I'm going to have to go to find what I need. Come on, you crazy explodey fish. Where are you? Seems like kind of a dangerous way to gather materials. Am I still going the right way or did I get turned around somehow? Oh, it's so dark in here. Oh, got a little more light. It's from the, I think I think this mushroom's kind of glow in the dark, which is good. Gives it a little bit of light. And I think I just ran into a dead end. There's another... Is that another one there? Ah, oh, it is! Oh. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Alright, apparently when the exploding ambush fish gets you and kills you, you pop right back into the into the ship. So I guess, I guess it could be worse. I appeared right back here with full health. Good compliment of water, though I am a little bit hungry. Um, okay, so if I can swim my way back in there, hopefully now that the thing's exploded, that, uh, that thing will be open. Man, that, that was brutal. You get into those dark little caves and then you can't get out. You get a little exploding fish swimming out. What are you going to do? <laughs> you pretty much got to hightail it. I was going backwards, though, and you don't really swim very quickly backwards. At least the sun is coming out now, so I'm getting... Hopefully I'll have a little bit more light. Let's turn the flashlight off. So I don't use up all the power. I'm already down to 60% on this thing. Okay, we need some of that crash powder so we can make our welder and get our communications back online. Maybe I got a radio for help. I'm going to stock up in some air down here again before I go into that tunnel, so I'm not starting at, uh, at a lower level. Okay, good. Got a full 75. We can find that cave entrance and go back in again. I feel like I'm glutton for punishment going in here again. Okay. Where did that guy ambush me? I think it was this way. You need a good sense of direction down here. You can't exactly map things. Is this, was it this way? I think... I don't know. I think this was the direction I went. Yeah, there it is there. Oh, and there's an opening. Huh, right there. Oh, God, I got the crash powder. Yeah, score! All right, so I only got blown up once. I guess that could be worse. Uh, where's my ship? Oh, look at that. It was really close to my pod, too. All right, let's go inside and make a welder. We'll get our communications array back online. And I could probably fix the light support, too, in there, I guess. Uh, let's see. Equipment, tools. Welder! Haha, <laughs> going super high-tech now. Alright, get out of here. Uh, actually, you know what? I should probably make some water while I'm in here. And then I got that boomerang. I don't want it to go bad while I'm out of the water. So, let's make, make some food, too. Air sack. Really? Air sack's the only thing I can make? That's no good. Come on, I've got a boomerang fish on me somewhere. Oh, you know what? I died. I probably don't have that boomerang fish anymore. Nope, I definitely don't. I guess when you die, you lose some stuff. So, I suppose that makes sense. I've got filtered water. 
I do not have food. Let's grab another another healing pack over there. Okay, let's take this uh, this welder out for a little joy ride and see what we can do with it. All right, let's try the uh, try fixing the, uh, the life support first. Oh, look at that! That's cool. The panel just teleported back up there. Hey, we have lights. Maybe we can get rid of some of the smokiness too. The life support going, clear out all the smoky air. Maybe not. It's still smoking. Well, we have lights anyway. Not much for life support. Oh, is the smoke on? No, mostly. Okay. Let's uh let's prepare the communications and see what we have here. Jackpot. I don't know what we all right, we got the emergency distress signal going. So I don't know what good this uh, this welder is beyond repairing these two little things. I mean, I guess maybe once you have your base, you can fix more. Communications relay, play message. This is an automated bounce back from the Aurora mining vessel. Your distress signal has been received. An emergency relief team will be dispatched to your location. The estimated arrival time, nine, 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 nine hours. Uh, nine, 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 nine hours. I'm guessing that wasn't stuttering. Because <laughs> otherwise I would already have some sort of a rescue thing here. Can I fix it? What is this? Okay. I think I also can do with this communications relay. Doesn't look like there is. I mean, so I've got some sort of distress signal off. But it said it was a bounce back from the Aurora. But the Aurora is a big ship that's burnt out over here. I mean, if that thing's coming to rescue me, I think I probably, I'm probably not doing too well. All right. Well, in the meantime, um, uh, I suppose I should go and try and gather some more stuff. Take my big, my trusty high-tech knife here. We'll do a little more exploring and see what we can find. So, I got the uh, my pod there. I'm gonna try and swim out this way. I don't have any food on me though. I don't know, maybe I should cook up some of these things if I can get a hold of them. Hold still. Hold still. Hold still. Come on. Now I gotta turn around. Where's he? Oh! Oh! Ah, oh, come on! Give my arm for a fishing pole. Can I get a hold of this guy? Can I get a hold of you? Come here. Crazy peeper. Eyeball guy. There's an egg. I don't know what to do with the eggs, though, so I'm not going to collect them yet. I do have one in my storage bin, but they take up a little bit of space, and I can't cook them or anything, oddly enough. Um, so I'm not sure what good it's for. I'm sure it must have a purpose. I just don't know what it is. Oh, these fish. Come here, fish. Emergency. Fish. Fish. Ten seconds fish. Of oh, I should get to the surface. Ah. I seriously need like a scuba suit or something that'll let me stay underwater longer. At least I'm up to 75 seconds. That's better than I started. Something to grab these fish would be handy too. Maybe like a net or something. Oh, I had a peeper swim right by and I didn't get him. Ah, I gotcha. All right, let's go make some fish. Back over to my pod. It looks like I swim fastest when I'm on top of the water. So I'm gonna try to do that as much as I can while I gotta get back to the ship. Oh, wavy. Alright, where's my entrance? Alright, this place is looking a lot better. This thing's not sparking anymore either, which is good. New creature discovered. Fish. Cook peeper. Cook air sack. And cook boomerang. Good deal. Now, when I was doing the the, uh, the trial, I did cook up a few fish before, and I thought I could just kind of keep them in my inventory, but things do spoil on you, so... 
I'm gonna eat my fish now because it's just gonna go bad on me. There you go. Oh, back up to 99%. Now I think we're a little more set for exploring. I have a bottle of water so I can drink that. I have a health kit so if I get hurt, I can heal myself. Let's see what the ocean has for us out here. I'm not entirely what, sure what I should collect. I mean, I, I've got quite a bit of titanium now. And I guess if I, if I can get some more of the materials, I can start to build out electronics and things. But I, I don't even know what to make with them yet. Alright, what do we got out here? <laughs> I, I need to un unequip that fire extinguisher. I just haven't figured out how to unequip things yet. That's cool. Those are some tall wheat. Let's see what happens if we hack into some of these. Can I harvest it? What's it called? Creep vine. Oh, picked up creep vine sample. A creep vine sample. This is actually where I got the um, the the stuff that I made the silicone with, and I want to make some flippers so I can swim a little faster. So I should probably should find some more of those glowy egg things. Oh, there's some right there. These are like creep vine seeds or something. If I can get close enough here to snag some before I run out of air. These things take up a lot of space in my inventory, though, so I can only grab a couple. Inventory full. All right. Full times 1.5. I'm not sure what that means. I got too much stuff on me? Or is it just saying I'm full? I don't know. All right, let's go back and we'll see if we can have enough of this stuff to make enough... Silicone rubber, we can make some flippers, and that'll help us swim around a little bit quicker. Increased mobility be good, because then we can go a little bit farther, swim a little deeper, that sort of thing, without running out of air so quickly. Gosh, it's a long swim. Looking forward to the point where I can get so I can make some vehicles. I know there's, like, some underwater little submarine things you can drive around in. There's some of those little underwater things. Oh, fish just jumped right in my face. Uh, there's little things you can hold on to as well, and it'll just kind of pull you through the water. So weird having those doors like floating around my base. Oh, what happened there? <laughs> did I come? Did I walk out of the water, or did it just like did that fish launch me? That was so weird. Like a fish like popped up right underneath me and it like pushed me up into the air. Okay. Um. Okay. Back to the fabricator. Go to basic materials, and this time I'm gonna need some. Oh, I can make fiber mesh. Actually, strong fiber. Let's make that. I think I'm going to want to go back and get some more of that. I think I saw some stuff that I could make with that fiber mesh when I was poking around. Silicone rubber. Creep vine seed cluster. I only have one? I thought I grabbed a couple. No, I have to swim all the way back over there. Creep vine seed cluster. I have one. My inventory must have filled up before I could even get more than one. That's terrible. Um, I don't even know what to put in here. Oh, this fire extinguisher is a total waste of space for me. Oh, and you know what? I've got uh, I've got some scrap stuff on me here, so I'm gonna go with let's make some titanium, and then I'll make a titanium a titanium bars or whatever you can make that will kind of consolidate some of that. So I don't have these titanium ingot. That's what it is. There we go. That should free up a little bit of inventory space for me. Yeah, that's much better. Okay, now i got rooms for some more of those creeper thingies. And I can get some more of the samples, too, if I can remember which direction I swam in. Make some more of that mesh. Alright, I found my way back. Let's uh, cut into some more of this plant life here. We'll get some more samples of this stuff. If I can get close enough. How much room does that take? Oh my gosh, no wonder. Okay, I need to drop one of these. So I can get another one of these seed clusters. Oh, some funny glowy fish. Alright, we've got a creep vine seed cluster. Inventory's full times two. I have no 
idea what that means. It's funny, it's an inventory full, then it's an inventory full times two. Maybe it just means that it told me a second time, and I'm not smart enough after the first one. <laughs> Alright, let's get back to the ship. We'll see if we can make some of that silicone rubber stuff. Okay. Uh, let's make some more fiber mesh. And silicone rubber. Okay, so with the silicone rubber now, I'm going to go back and let's see if we can make some of those fins. Survival knife. Nope. Drat, where are the fins? Maybe it's not the tools. Maybe it's the equipment. Fins! Vertical moon, underwater forward and movement thrust. Yeah. Score. We can go faster. All right, see if there's something here that we can use that mesh for. Oh, fiber mesh is used in the radiation suit. Lead line suit providing insulation from radiation. Radiation suit blueprint. I wonder if that's... Is it like a wetsuit? Reinforced dive suit. I don't have the blueprint for that. Still suit. Reclaim moisture from body. Fiber mesh and silver ore. I don't have any silver. Oh, I can make first aid kits. Rebreather is wiring kit and fiber mesh. Absorb CO2 to recycle air used at greater depths. Huh. Maybe that like slows down the, how much air you use? That could be handy. Thermometer. All right. Nothing where I can build the mesh at the moment. I wish I had more room in this storage bin. Because uh, I don't really have the space to be carrying all this stuff around. I should get some more, get rid of some of these acid mushroom spore things. I can use them to make batteries, but I don't know that I need any more batteries right now. Rotten creep vine sample. Wow, that thing went bad fast. Oh, I can eat it. I wonder if I'll get sick. I'm going to try it. Probably shouldn't. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Hey, I can eat rotten stuff and I don't get sick. How, oh. how oh, appetizing! <laughs> All right, one salt deposit and some titanium ingot. I should switch that out. I don't know if the, I don't know if I have like a weight restriction or if it's just like a total number of things I'm carrying kind of restriction. Let's see if I can figure out how to put these fins on. Oh, I have them automatically. Perfect. Let's see how fast we go. Our new high-tech swim fish, swim fin things. I think I'm going faster. I'm not positive. Looks like it. Alright, good deal. So, looks like we accomplished a few things this video. So, we've got our welder. We've repaired our ship. I figured out how to make some sort of mesh stuff. Uh, we've gotten some more... Got some more silicone rubber. Made some fins. We can swim around a little bit faster. I'm going to keep gathering up some resources and figure out what I can what I can do here. I think I might have something I can make like a storage container. So, I'm going to see what I can do to create one of those so I don't run out of so much space to, to store things. We're going to need more and more storage as we go along, but thanks everyone for checking out the video. I hope you'll come back and check out some more of this. This seems like a pretty fun game so far, and I'm really curious to see what kind of exploration we can do as we get a little bigger, build out a base, and that sort of thing. But uh, thanks everyone for checking out the video. As always, I'm Cryptic Fox. Come back and see some more Subnautica with us, and uh, I will see all of you next time.